Barbara is an adult learner and part-time tutor at Lancaster and Morecambe College. With her visual impairment, she needs support to access mainstream learning material. I have recently been introduced to Robo Braille and I didn't realise what potential it has. Before we had Robo Braille here at the college, we had to get a member of staff to uh, transcribe documents, which is a time-consuming procedure. Um, now we can do it with the click of a button and students can get their documents within uh, minutes rather than days. Previously, we've had a lot of learners who were denied any access to education whatsoever because they cannot simply read the written format. Robo Braille is an email-based service that translates text into audio recordings and, if required, then into Braille. Using Robo Braille is a straightforward process. Um, I often get text which I need to make into MP3s from a tutor or even a student. To convert a, a, a document into a Robo Braille format, I would need to first of all ensure that it's in written text form and then send it to our assistive technology officer. I'll send those directly to uh, an email address with a subject header. Um, within maybe two minutes, that file comes back as an MP3, which I can then forward to the tutor or directly to the student. What I did, I saved it onto my phone card and put it into my phone, went to my music player and played it. And it literally is as easy as that. And it was absolutely really lovely and clear. An MP3 um, seems to be one of the preferred ways to get your resources these days or even your feedback from a tutor. Uh, it's very accessible, easy to use and the majority of the students have devices which can play these back. One of the other uses of Robo Braille is to actually offer a Braille output on a refreshable Braille display for our blind computer users. Um, this is especially useful if you're learning Braille. Um, this is a device that reads out Braille from a, a Word document, for instance. I think this is a really useful tool because it means that everybody's getting the same chances. And I would use it quite a bit, not necessarily just with visually impaired learners. I think it has the potential to be extremely freeing for a lot of learners who struggle with written text. Robo Braille had the potential across lots of different areas of the college. We initially brought it in to help uh, visually impaired students, but it was so easy to use, we are now using it um, to support dyslexic students across college, and it even offers uh, support in uh, language teaching. One of the big advantages of this system is the speed at which it processes the information. I would use it in the classroom when we're accessing a piece of written text and the students are doing some work that pertains to that written text. It would mean that Barbara could have that information on an MP3 player through her headphones and answer the same questions at the same time as all the other learners in the classroom. When I heard about Robo Braille at first, I thought, I don't know whether I can be able to use it. But after being shown, even after one time, it was so easy to use. So it's useful for, for anybody anybody can use it. I have no specialist knowledge whatsoever and I'd be very confident about using it. Students, tutors, anybody who wants to basically can access their documents in a timely and efficient manner.